It's Local Edition. I'm Brad Palmer, and thank you so much for joining us. Our guest is Jan Perry. Jan is a member of the Los Angeles City Council. She has also filed papers to run for mayor of Los Angeles. That election will be held in 2013. We wish you the best of luck in that race. Thank you very much. But let's talk about what's happening today Bye. in Los Angeles. A lot of excitement surrounding the possibility of what we know as Farmers Field, mm -hmm. bringing the NFL back to Los Angeles maybe in 2015. Without getting too excited, there is some concern. Talk to mm -hmm. me about the concerns that you may have. Well, I think people are concerned, and rightfully so, about use of any taxpayer money or taxpayer asset, how it will be used, and uh, the fact that the city is in dire straits and that we can't afford to put ourselves in any disadvantageous situation. That's on the con side. On the pro side, we have to look at this as an opportunity, an opportunity to not just bring football back to Los Angeles, but to increase our exhibition and convention space to attract more tourists to the city right. of Los Angeles. And let's talk about that. I know your colleague Mr. Rosendahl mm -hmm. had some serious concerns about whether the spillover effect, the halo effect, would actually um, go into place if we saw Farmers Field built. Do you feel as if the answers have been, um, you got the answers you need on that one issue? Well, we're still, this is just the beginning of the conversation and there, this will be a process where AEG negotiates with the city of Los Angeles through our chief legislative analyst. So our chief legislative analyst is the lead negotiator on this. The chief legislative analyst brings this to the city council, then we debate it, we vet it, we discuss it, and then we vote, send it back to the CLA to go back and negotiate some more. So we're not even close to getting all the answers that we need. One of the big selling points is that a new stadium will bring jobs. Right. That being said, I have also heard that rather than bringing jobs, what a new stadium would do would just relocate jobs. Well, I don't think that's correct because we don't have anything comparable to a stadium that is proposed like Farmers Field anywhere in the region. But you also have to understand that it won't just be a stadium, it will be a convention space. Mm -hmm. 1.5 million square feet of exhibition space, which we don't have now. We're 15th in the country in terms of exhibition space, and we can move ourselves up to 5th in the country. And if you, you follow that thread, then we should be able to attract more tourism, more conventions, therefore have a need for more hotel rooms. So these are new, net new jobs. Uh, more concerns focus on the environmental laws. Mm -hmm. uh, there is discussion that AEG will seek exemptions from CEQA laws. Uh, what's your position on that? Well, I don't think there's any need to uh, seek an exemption uh, to, to CEQA. Mm -hmm. uh, I think there's a concern about people filing lawsuits so that, that at the end of the day they can cause delay, cause delay or, mm -hmm. or get money. Yeah, I think that's the concern. Okay, let's bring it to the future, or bring it back from the future. Okay, back to the, the future. Yeah, back All to right, the future. Okay. Talk about today's issues, yeah. and that deals with a budget crisis in our city. Absolutely. Over $400 million budget gap. Mm -hmm. um, do you see that gap being whittled away because there's a lot of talk, but I don't know where the action is. Yet. Well, I think that we're, we're in a position where we not only have to deal with it, we don't have a choice. Uh, it's right there, right in front of us, and as uncomfortable as that may make some people feel, we have to make difficult decisions. We have done that in the last year uh, with the, the collapse of the proposal to sell the parking garages, and I was never really supportive of that in the first place. Uh, to sell your own assets in a down market right. was never a good idea. Uh, but to understand that we're going to have to make some tough choices, there will be layoffs, there will be Again. furloughs. Uh, we'll have to do another round. And to pretend otherwise is to be inhumane and unkind to people. But if we're laying people off, mm -hmm. they're not making money, they're not paying taxes. We have to give people uh, uh, the ability to be able to plan so they can plan and, and, and anticipate and, and, and to be realistic about where we're going. Okay, Jan Perry, thanks for joining us. She's Jan Perry, a member of the Los Angeles City Council and candidate for mayor of Los Angeles. I'm Brad Palmer, it's back to HLN.